Hey, let me show you 50 features, tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy S24 FE. And first of all, we are going to start from the Wi-Fi 6. Yes, you can find it right here. Thanks to the Wi-Fi 6, we can actually get faster internet, more reliable with better and improved connectivity. As you can see, it is supported. Next, uh, we can also find here the LDAC audio codec. So it gives us, you know, the high resolution audio streaming um, thanks to the superior sound over the Bluetooth. And it's available when you basically connect your headphones or earbuds into your phone and then you will be able to turn them on. Next, we can also uh, find here uh, the broadcast sound uh, using, you know, AuraCast and also the music share. So um, if you want to use this, you will have to go right here, tap right here, and it's just right here. So we can basically broadcast the sound from this phone to other. So basically you can connect like two headphones or two earbuds to this phone and listen to the same sound. Next, we can also find here the NFC, which is located here. And thanks to this, we can basically pay with this device um, and easy, you know, share data uh, wireless. Uh, in this place, we can also find, when you go into the SIM manager, uh, we can find an eSIM. So we know we can switch easily uh, without this uh, physical cards that we can input right here, thanks to this built-in eSIM uh, feature. And also, as you can see, we can find here the dual SIM. So we can use one physical SIM card, one eSIM, or two eSIMs, or for example, two physical uh, SIM cards. In this smartphone, we can also find the VPN, it's just right here, but of course you will have to set it up. You will have to add your VPN profile, the name, password and stuff like this. But if you wonder, yes, the VPN is actually supported right here. Of course, we can print wireless, like, you know, documents, images directly from the S24 FE using our wireless printing features. And what is also really useful right here, uh, we can find the Samsung DeX that should be available outside this in the connected devices take a look it's just right here uh, so uh, we can connect this wireless or wired and we can actually turn s24 fe into a desktop like experience and get the multitasking and productivity next we can find here also the screen mirroring so we can cast the screen of the s24 fe to our tv for a bigger view of our content that we are showing on our phone. We can also find here Android Auto compatibility. So uh, we can basically safely connect the S24 FE to our car for hands-free calls, messages, navigation, and more. Also, mm, as you can see right here, we can find the Galaxy AI, but I just missed this one. It's available right here. And uh, take a look at what we can find here. We got the call assistant. So basically we'll get the real-time translation during the voice calls. We can find the chat assistant while typing something so it, can, it could actually translate the messages in the select chat and compose full text. Uh, also, we can change our writing style uh, and get proper spelling and grammar suggestions. Also, another function, we got the note assistant, transcript assistant, browsing assistant, photo assistant. Take a look, that's, that's actually crazy amount of features and that we can find to the Galaxy AI and I really like it. It really works pretty cool, smooth and without any issues. Now let's move for another option that we can find here. It will be the Dolby Atmos so we can, we can actually enhance our audio experience with immersive 3D sound. And it's available just right here. You can pick your profile. So we get automatic movie, music and the voice. Also, as you can see right here, we can find the sound equalizer so we can basically customize our sound settings and get the best audio quality basically to our preferences. And when we go next, uh, we can find here the notifications and in the notification settings, we can actually find the edge lightning that will be available here. There we go. And as you can see, uh, just like this, we can, you know, get this uh, visual notifications with customizable edge lightning effects um, for almost everything, for messages, for calls. You can customize it with the different colors, with the different shape, uh, white, duration, transparency. Pretty cool, right? 
And when we go into the another option that will be visible right here, we can find 120 Hz refresh rate. So basically it will, it will give us the smoother the scrolling and gameplay experience. You can find it right here. It's called the motion smoothness. Uh, when we go to another option for the navigation bar, we can find here the circle to search. So we can just click and hold it. And now we can select something if you want to search. You can translate something, but take a look. I can quickly translate this page into the Polish language. For example, of course, I can pick any language that I want, or I can sign something. Like if you want to, like le like if you want to actually search for some music, you can basically click here and start singing, or basically get the music recognition. Um, also, in this place, we can find uh, the increased touch sensitivity function. And it's useful when you apply the screen protectors and you have some kind of the touch issue. So you can try to turn it on and probably it will actually fix this, fix this issues. Next in this phone, uh, we can also, okay, there's like some kind of the information about this song searching, Never mind. Uh, but now let's move for another feature. And right here in this phone, we can find the fast charging and the fast wireless charging. And you can find it just right here. Take a look. Next, in this phone, we can also find the wireless power sharing, sometimes it's also known as reverse wireless charging. So basically, you can put second phone on your, on your S24 FE or earbuds and recharge them. The next thing that I want to show you, it will be definitely this customization of the lock screen. So uh, we can change the clock, we can make it bigger, smaller, we can change font, we can change color of the font, we can change clock style. So as you can see, we can customize it in the different ways. We can also add here some widgets, so we'll be able to quickly turn on some uh, some apps, and we can even uh, change the notification settings, like we can get icons, we can get details, and by going here, we can even add custom phrase to the lock screen, and we can change this shortcuts. So if you want to quickly turn on some application from your lock screen, or some kind of the feature like this flashlight, you can for sure do this. Next, uh, we are going into the themes and right here, you can basically change the entire look of your S24 FE by applying different themes, icons, backgrounds. Even right here, you can find the always on display themes. So as a default, you, add, you got only a one, but you can actually apply, like if you download something, you can apply and you will actually change it. It's like a little bit hidden because you don't have anything uh, information that you can actually change it. But right here, when you enter for the themes, there you go. And of course, you don't have to pay for those icons or AODs because you can every time input free phrase and take a look. You don't have to pay for um, for ch this changes. Now I want to show you also uh, another option. It will be the fingerprint sensor that you can actually turn on right here by using your screen lock type. So we've got, you know, the fingerprint sensor. So thanks to the fingerprint sensor, we can basically unlock our phone uh, securely and quickly. Uh, and with the face unlock, it basically looks the same. So basically we can actually unlock it uh, the hands-free, right? We don't have to touch uh, the phone. Also right here, we can find an always on display. So we can basically keep eye um, we can keep eye on the key information like the time, notifications, uh, visible. Yeah, it will be visible basically. Uh, we don't have to unlocking our phone. Uh, so that's how it looks as default. You can show the lock screen clock. You can show uh, only the image. You can show the music information and decide when to show this one. And what is also really interesting, then uh, you can find this hidden uh, widget menu. Take a look. There's like a lot of different widgets that you can add here. And I'm not sure if everyone know about this one, because as you know, there's some widgets that you can put here. But when you tap on this time, you can find another uh, widgets. Okay, now uh, there, there will be like another 25 uh, stuff. So, uh, we can find here the secure folder, uh, which is actually probably one of the best feature on this phone. So you can input here any application that you want, and uh, it will give you, you know, 
I mean, you will keep this stuff private because every time you close this, you will have to input the password that you previously set up and it will also duplicate your application. So we can even put here your photos, uh, videos, like your PDF files, wherever, and you can also keep it uh, secure in this folder. Also, we can find here this feature to pin a specific application. So basically we can pick uh, like uh, this application and you can keep them open and prevent unauthorized access. So basically a second person will be not able to close this application and you know, snuff inside your phone. And if you are searching for this option, uh, basically you will have to go for the main settings page, click here and input this pin. There we go, it's on the security and the privacy. You will have to just tap on it and simply turn it on. And of course we can find here the split screen and the pop-up view. It's quite obvious that this function is supported for years on the Samsung, but also they release update that allows you to use this even for apps that are not supported. So take a look, it's available here, go to the labs. And by tapping on this switcher, you can uh, turn it on. And as you can see right now, uh, it will include apps that haven't been designed for this layout. So that's really great uh, extension. Now, when we go and stay with this advanced features, we can find the side button. So basically it will allow us to double tap quickly on the power button and turn on some features or specific apps. You can customize it. You can also turn it off. This is your choice. Uh, I just set here in the flashlight because I often use it so I can make this simple shortcut. It's quicker even than opening this, uh, you know, quick panel settings. And uh, next we have to go for another option that will be visible right here on the motions and the gestures. And we've got lift to wake. So we can basically, mm, it will turn the screen of our phone when we pick it up. As the default is actually uh, turn it off. Next, we can find here this option, dual messenger. So it allows us to copy, you know, this um, social apps, like, you know, WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, Telegram, stuff like this. And as you know, as you remember, the secure folder did the same. So we can even use free, the same apps on the phone. That's great extension. Also right here, when we go back, we can move for a div device care and we got access into the, when you go for the storage, we get access to the trash. So if you actually delete something, you are able to recover uh, for 30 days. But after this, it will be deleted permanently. And in the next one, I want to also show you that you can actually increase RAM by going to the memory. You can find here RAM plus. Take a look. So we can add two, four, six, or even eight additional gigs of the RAM to your S24 FE. And by going back, we can also find the virus scan. So we can basically perform the scan. It will scan all apps or files that you have on your phone and detect for some malware. And the next step, we can also find here the diagnostics. So if you have any issue with your phone, like for example, uh, your Wi-Fi is not working. So we can take uh, the test right here. You can check if something is wrong with your phone or for example, something is wrong with this Wi-Fi network. And as you can see, this is the list of all options that you can find right here. Okay, now let's go back and uh, right here, we can also find this apps feature and we can simply uninstall apps updates. So if there is like new update for Google Assistant that you don't really like, you can basically get rid of it and get an original previous uh, version. Right here, we can also find support for hearing aid. Take a look. You can connect them by Bluetooth and check about the compatibility. In this place, we can also find the stereo speakers. Take a look. Right here, we got this information for the left one. This is the left one and this is the right one. So we've got two speakers. Uh, we can also find here the voice access. So you can control your phone with voice. I'm gonna quickly turn it on and show you how it works. There we go. Yeah, 
go home, open settings, scroll down. So as you can see, that's how it works. And next we can find the flash screen and the flashlight and notifications. So we can get the visual alerts with flashing lights for notifications when we need extra visibility. And this feature will be available when you go for accessibility. And we have to go for interaction. No, it wasn't here. Wait a minute. I just, yeah, that's, that's here. So that's how we can actually turn it on and off. And for this, uh, you know, um, screen and the flash notifications, you can pick, you know, specific apps. So you can turn it on for every application, but you can also turn it on for specific apps. And in this phone, we can also find the USB debugging. So, you know, the USB debugging is like for advanced control and development purposes. And we can actually find it in the developer options. There we go. It's located just right here. You can turn it on and off whenever you want. And we can also find here the dual recording in the camera. So you can take the videos from the two cameras at the same time, from the selfie camera and from the rear camera. You can also select lenses. Take a look. You can click OK and you can change the view. So we can, for example, split screen. Uh, we can also find here this single take feature and this one actually capture multiple types of photos and videos with a single press of the shutter button. So now we have to like record something around us that we want to focus and it will give us the multiple types of the photos, videos and uh, other modes. And we can also capture the 50 megapixel photos. So we'll basically capture, you know, high resolution photos uh, for detailed images. In the video, we can capture like 8K videos. So it will offer like, you know, incredible clarity and sharpness. And we can also find this super steady stabilization. So we will keep our videos smooth and steady and even when shooting in motion. And the last three things that I want to show you, the first one, it will be the voice shutter. So basically we can take the photos by simple, simply using the voice comments, making hands-free photography. And it's right here. You can say smile, cheese, capture, shot, or record video. Also right here, you can uh, hide applications. So let me just go for it. There we go. Uh, it's just right here. And so basically you can keep your home screen and the app drawer private and you can hide apps. You don't want to be visible, right? And the last feature that you can find here, it will be the object eraser. So we have to go for the gallery. There we go. And now when you all the, when you start to editing any video, you can click here, video or the picture, and you can find this object eraser. So we can remove uh, whatever you want from this screen. That will be all. Thanks for watching.